My favorite thing about freelancing on the side while I have this full-time job is that I can turn stuff down if I want to. This is the Freelance Journalist 5-Minute Talk Show. Today we're talking to Christopher Beer. He's the head of post-production at the New York Post, but he's also a freelance visual artist, a Godzilla enthusiast, as he likes to put it, and a good friend. In this episode, we're talking about freelancing while having a full-time job. So thanks so much, Chris, for being with us tonight. Uh, Carlos, I'm, I mean, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of your work, you know. Um, it means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Now, tell me, you are the head of post-production of the New York Post, which is a career, a full-time job, 9 to 6, but you're also freelancing when you're not at the office. Now, how do you do this? Is it really the best of both worlds, or uh, how do you sleep? <laughs> There will be definitely those moments when I'm overtired and staring at myself in the mirror and going, why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> There's at least one day a week where I'm doing nothing but focusing on just myself. Right, so you don't burn out at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, learning from my own past mistakes because I've definitely burned out. Um, I know at the back and forth of working full time, but then losing your freedom and um, uh, your ability to work on all your passion projects. But then the flip side, you know, when you're freelance, you don't have the money or the means or you're worried about, you know, how you're going to keep a roof over your head. It's it's one of those like grass is always greener, mm -hmm. perpetual cycles, you know, that you go through. I've definitely gone through it um, for years and years and years. From a creative and artist perspective, what would you say is the biggest advantage of going about it your way? I mean, the big, big, big pro is that you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to take on anything you don't want to. Like when I was freelance uh, all the time, I was definitely more of a penny pincher. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would be less inclined to take risks. So, okay, so how did that transition come about in your career, uh, going from a uh, full-time freelancer to, uh, you know, seeking full-time uh, employment? I've been in New York for the last six years, and um, I've sort of bounced in between, like freelance living and then full-time job living. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of um, a mixture of necessity, you know, hey, I, I'm really tired of living you know, chasing down freelance payments, you know, which I'm sure every freelancer knows is like the biggest headache in the world. And, uh, you know, health insurance is also nice to have. <laughs> I'm sure that every freelancer out there agrees with you. Now, Chris, how did you end up at the New York Post then? A recruiter uh, found me for that position. I was a little hesitant at the time because I was just coming out of a really big personal project I was doing that I devoted so much of my free time towards while I was freelancing and had the ability to do that. When I was first considering that job, I was really, really nervous about giving up my free time again. But, you know, fell in love with the people. And the big unicorn everyone chases after is finding a way to, like, strike a balance between your passion, your art, and... Um, paying the bills with a, with a full time. Yeah, it's like, that's always the... Uh, I've at least just been really lucky to um, find full-time jobs that kind of play a little bit into what I like doing and can grow my abilities. I know that's not necessarily the, the case for everybody, but I, I know in, in film and video, especially in New York City, that's, that's always a possibility. Okay, so you have financial stability right now, and uh, you're also creating on the side. But if I asked you what your dream job would be, what would you say? I know that you love directing music videos and uh, I've seen them on your site. Uh, the dream has always been to kind of do really amazing big music videos. Mm -hmm. I know some larger artists still toss lots of money at music videos, so maybe there's a career still to be made from that. Who knows? That is definitely a dream to just make a living doing that. Now, Chris, we just have a few seconds left. Would you happen to have any advice that's really stuck with you that you would want to share with uh, freelancers out there? My favorite piece of advice ever has come from my landlord, who I call Uncle Tony. Um, he once said to me, when someone offers you something, don't say no right away. Say you'll think about it. It sounds so simple. I mean, it definitely resonated with me when I first heard it a few, few years back when I was still freelancing, just because I think there's always the knee-jerk response, and sometimes it's best to just sleep on something. Thank you, Chris, for being with us. You can check out Christopher Beer's work at cmbeer.com. This was the Freelance Journalist 5-Minute Talk Show. Please leave a quick review on iTunes. This is Carlos P. Beltran, and I'll see you next time.